Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwame yasa alot. Koholoi mla. Yahawa bahashem yawasai bahashem. Rekha kodash double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Ahwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yawashai to the best of their ability. This is Achanan Nawaf. It's coming at you with another quick lesson and praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, as you can see right here, I was, you know, just kind of scrolling through the tube and uh, came across this video of a mother and daughter duo. It says mom and daughter tackling wild hog control together. So basically you can see them, they're dragging this hog and, you know, and by the scriptures, we're not supposed to, uh, you know, um, deal with swine. We're not supposed to touch the carcasses of swine. And you can, you know, and this is for educational purposes only. I'll just get a little bit of it. You can clearly see, you know, they, they pretty much got a plan to, you know, string this thing up with a truck and all kinds of other stuff. So I'm not sure what city they live in, but, you know, this is, you know, this, you know, just the stuff that our people are into. We're not supposed to be dealing with no swine. We're not supposed to touch it. We're not supposed to eat it. We're not supposed to, you know, be dealing with swine. You know, it's just that simple. And see, the so-called white man, he understands that that's one of the laws that the Lord gave us. And so that's why he pushes pork on us so strong. That's why you'll see commercials with, with, with Negroes biting into a Baconator. Or you'll see um, commercials with Negroes biting into a, a slice of pizza with every abominable piece of meat on there. You know, shrimp, crab, lobster, you know, uh, uh, damn salami, uh, pepperoni. Italian sausage, all these different things that are abominable to us as a people, and it's it's just unhealthy. We we can't handle our body. We're not the Lord didn't make us like how we made the heathen. We're 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 a different piece of machinery, man. We are, you know, um, for lack of better terms, we're like the Rolls Royce of the earth. We're not um a damn Kia that you can break into, you know, with with a simple hack. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying, you know, the Lord didn't create us that way. He created us to be a special people, a, a peculiar people unto himself. So, again, like I said, you can see them dragging the hog. I want to play a little bit of it. And again, this is not for um, this is for educational purposes only. I'm not getting any monetary value off of the um, video or anything like that. So let's let's play a little bit. So basically, the daughter is traveling. Tour mom, we just gonna get straight to the point. You can clearly see they got the uh, the hog right here, right? I guess you know they set up a trap. Nose teeth. Mom set up a trap or something to that extent. Caught the hog. So basically, you know, we're just gonna scroll on through it a little bit. A lot of our people, you know, they well, buddy. <laughs> they like to do these, you know, these videos and, you know, it's just entertainment, man. Our people are uh, everybody can be a damn entertainer now. It's not, you know, it's not just you can go to Hollywood and I had this act, this dream of being an actor or an actress. You know what I'm saying? You can just fire up your phone, turn on the camera and you can become a damn star. And this is what a lot of people are doing these days. Right. So let's see here. Trick shot. So they killed, they killed the, you know, the animal. Quick and easy, straight to the point. And see, I didn't, you know, not gonna, of course, show them, you know, cause they'll even look at this like, oh, that's cruelty, you know, whatever, whatever. I don't think they actually showed it in the video, but like I said, I'm just scanning through it. They actually, you know, backing in, look, you know, and, and, and these are women doing this. This is, <laughs> this is the so-called black woman doing this, man. And then, you know, somebody might say, well, hey, see, that shows you that women can do whatever too, you know, but, and, and it's, you know, we've had situations in, in you know, in the where, you know, uh, our women are dressed to meet and do certain things, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, you know but we're talking about the, the hog, man, you're not supposed to touch the swine, you're not supposed to be doing the swine, so, of course, they, 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 you know, back in the about to haul it, so to speak, you can clearly see, I'm just going to scan through, you know, the daughter, she she's grabbing it and dragging it out. And that thing is probably down near 200 pounds. And here you go. You can clearly see they, they dragging it all through the mud and water. And, of course, you know, you have to realize that they're actually setting up the camera. 
in all these different locations to actually get these shots that they're getting. And this thing got 324,000 views in five days, right? And you got all the comments. I love watching you and your mom working together to take care of that hog. I uh, mean, you supposed to be dealing with no shit like this. All right, so we got him from the trap to the truck. But now we got to figure out how to get him on the truck. So we're going to take a break because we're tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you are tired. Yeah. You're dragging that big motherfucker. But anyway. So this is how they, they ended up doing it, you know what I'm saying? They ended up, you know, kind of tying it, putting a pulley to it, so to speak, and, you know, pulling it up and see how they got this um, thing right here. So we'll stop right here. So there's pretty much about the, you know, pretty much put together like a pulley system in a sense. But, you know, we don't have to watch that video. But I did want to, let's get on to it, because see, here you go. They're going to string it up pretty much right here. You can see that. Scroll on through and got it all tied up and then you know the point that i wanted to get to is you know they got it on the truck and they taking it back to you know the location to what C cut the shit up to put in the freezer into you know basically they're going did you know that there is a hidden message in the ancient egyptian symbol the eye of horus despite existing over 3500 years get them cleaned up yeah. all right so i'm headed back to the house my mom is gonna and here you go right here Follow me over so we can go ahead and get this hog skinned and cleaned and put in a cooler. Yeah. You know what they about to do Who next could have thought it? that this little ingredient could help right. stabilize You don't even have to go no further. You know what they about to do next with, 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 with him, right? So, let's just go into the scriptures. You know, it, they, they kind of showed a little bit of the skinning. They didn't really show all the way through, you know what I'm saying? Because I guess, you know, monetary-wise, you know, um, YouTube, they kind of, they will cut into certain stuff, but you know. They don't care about Jake promoting you eating no goddamn hog. But I'm just going to grab the, um, the the law on it. And I'm just doing this because, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, we have to continue to do, you know, lessons on the milk. And being into this truth for years, you know, these particular type of lessons, they can get boring to you. But it's not about being boring, is it? you know, because you know it. That don't necessarily mean that don't nobody else know it. It's newcomers that are waking up. Coming into this truth, finding out that they're Israelites and they don't know that you're not supposed to eat swine. You think that they would, but, you know, we can't just assume that everybody knows that. Now, this is Leviticus 11 and 7. It says, and the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, ye, yet he's true of not the cud, he is unclean to you. So the Lord is clearly telling us that this is an unclean animal unto us because the law, statutes and commandments was given to who? The, the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all these other nations, they can eat whatever. Look at the so-called Chinese man. This motherfucker, they can eat what the fuck ever they want, man, and nothing happens to them. They be living to be 100, <laughs> damn near 200 years old. Jake eat, you know, uh, 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 hog, swine, pig for, for 20 years, 30 years, and he's fucked. He's out here with all kinds of diseases. He's breathing all hard. He's got hypertension. His damn, you know, the, the, you, you know, your back of the arms and back of the legs looking like goddamn hogs themselves. <laughs> we can't eat um, with these nations um, um, eat, man. And like I said, again, see, we're, you know, for lack of better terms, we're like the Rolls Royce of the planet, man. They, they like a Kia, man. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, you, you, you know, you, you're not going to put. Uh, uh, the same type of oil and, and, and a Rolls Royce that you would put into a Kia. Come on, bro. Uh, Deuteronomy 14 and 8, it says, And the swine, because it divideth the hoof, yet cheweth not the cud, it is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. So they were sinning in two ways. They touched the dead carcass, they skint the fucker down. Then they, you know, of course they're going to, you know, Jake, be, be, they eat the skin, they eat the feet, they eat the, the ears, they eat the tongue, they eat the, you know, frying up hog cracklings, they eat the damn stomach, they eating chitlins, they eating the chops, they eating the snout, the nose, the head, anything that they can get out of that motherfucker, they, from the rooty to the tootie. Jake eating it, man, and it's, it, and it's fucking our people up, you know? See, when you come into this troop, is, you know, you want to get more into well-being. You know, be more about your, your, your health, man. And, 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 you know, the apostles been going into a lot of health videos as well. You know, as far as, you know, eating more vegetables, 
you know, drinking more smoothies, getting more nutrients in your body, um, cutting back on a lot of the meat. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can eat meat, but, you know, to just be you having a, a, a triple cheeseburger every day, you know, that shit can it can it can do you dirty. Though you can not eat beef, you know, you can not eat chicken, you can. But, you know, we're living we live in a society where the so-called white man. Every meal of the day, you, you have to have meat. And, and when we lived in the ancient days, you know, that just wasn't the way that it was. People didn't eat meat like that every day. This is some shit that the so-called white man put together to, to, to make people buy more product, you know. But I just wanted to touch on that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to keep it long, you know. And I'm just looking at these women like, you know, and, and a part of them, they did show like the skinning and the cutting, you know, a little bit. And I'm looking at it like, you know, the way that they got it all, like, you know, just ah, whatever. Um... But, you know, we're not supposed to be doing stuff like that, man. So um, we're not supposed to be into no hog, swine. And it's clear. And you got people that will tell you, oh, but that was the Old Testament. You know, uh, what about the, the, the vision Peter had where the, the, where, where the Lord told him to uh, uh, rise, Peter, kill and eat? So you have to go into the, the, the you know, the real content of that particular um, story or that particular. That was a vision that he was having. And the Lord was, was telling him that to not call you know, um, the children of Israel common or unclean because those 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 were Israelites that he was going to that didn't know that they were Israelites. Some of them didn't know, you know, some of them knew. And that was just keeping Gentile customs and stuff like that. But, you know, there there was a, a law or there was a, a time period where there was a falling away of a lot of our people. And a lot of the Jews was like, nah, man, they you know, we're just we're relatives, but I'm not dealing with that nigga. Look at what he do. Look at what he's into. Look at how he looks. Look at what he'll eat. The nigga got tattoos all over him. He looking crazy as hell. He 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 living just like the damn heathen. You know? Yeah, he my first cousin. Yeah, he my uncle. Yeah, he my auntie. But I'm not dealing with that nigga. Look at that nigga. That's the way that our people was looking back then. So when it came to that particular um, um, situation with Peter, where the Lord said, rise, Peter, kill and eat, that didn't mean that, you know, he was eating um, all kinds of wild shit. That, that, that was a metaphor saying that, hey, OK, you're about to, you know, go amongst the, the, the unclean, which is common to our people. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, we're not dealing with them. But the Lord said, no, no, hey, there was the Israelites, too. I'm calling them back in the fold the same way that I'm, 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 I'm straightening you up as, as the Jews. Because, see, you had a custom. I mean, or you had a situation where our people, some, you know, uh, uh, or the, the so-called Jews, you know, the tribe of Judah, um, Benjamin, Levi, you know, a lot of them were still going to the temple. They was keeping the customs. They were still living by the laws, statutes and commandments of the Lord. But you had a lot of our people. They, they were just living like Greeks. They was living like Romans. They was living like all these places where they were scattered to. They wasn't giving a shit about um, um, nothing to do with the sin of God or have, um, um, the Lord's laws, statutes and commandments. They wasn't dealing with nothing like that. But that was the reason why our Lord came. He came to put together the children of Israel, you know what I'm saying? And the children of Judah. Basically, you have Southern Kingdom and Northern Kingdom. Southern Kingdom was being called Judah with Benjamin, um, um, Judah, Levi. And then you had the Southern Kingdom, which was being called Israel. They were separated to other tribes. So the Lord came to put us all back together as Israel, as a one, not no Southern Kingdom. I mean, Southern or Northern Kingdom. He was putting us back together as one kingdom. And that's the purpose of the Lord's coming. And by the Lord doing that, those unclean so-called Gentiles, because that's who they they were. They were considered to be Gentiles, but they were actually Israelites that wasn't living by the customs of being Israel when, you know, from the ancient days. So the Lord was coming to put that back together. That's another lesson. I know I kind of said a lot. Hope I didn't confuse anyone. But you can't use that particular scripture to say, well, uh, you know, and that's what a lot of Christians do. They use that that particular scripture to that's one of them one of the scriptures that they use where they say well the lord after the law made everything clean man look you, you as a parent not gonna give your child something that you know that'll fuck them up you know if, if you know your child is allergic to something you're gonna feed it to them just because the lord said that everything is clean to you no you're gonna be like no my baby can't eat that <laughs> I mean, it's simple. So if you as a human would think that way, why would the Lord not think that way? You know what I'm saying? He created certain things for certain. Um, 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 he created certain animals to clean the earth. 
He made some things unclean. He made some things clean. And that's another lesson as well. I'm not going to go no more further into it. But anyway, we're not to eat no swine. We're not to touch no swine. And, and that's, the, that's the case, man. So to, you know, newcomers that are, that are just coming into this troop, if you didn't know that, now you know. And if you want to do some more study into it, go off into, just go off into it. Look up some of those words. Go into the Levitical law. It gives you a whole lot of things that we could, we can and can't do. You know? And it separates us. It makes us holy, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord separated us. We're, we're a peculiar treasure to the Lord. We're not just some, you know, we're not, yeah, come on, bro. Niggas love some pork, but, uh, hey, but, but niggas not going to eat no, um, no gorilla. Run up on, r r open up a restaurant and, and, and say, we selling gorilla burgers. You, you in the hood. Niggas not going to buy no gorilla, um, gorilla burgers, but they'll eat that, 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 that uh, damn hog burger. Niggas not eating no camel burger. You're not selling no no um no no whale burgers in the hood. You know? You got niggas that'll eat coon, they'll eat squirrels, they'll eat possum, they'll eat all these different things, but they these niggas ain't finna eat no bear. Let's be real here. Niggas not finna eat it. Open up a open up a restaurant in the hood and 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 and, 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 and tell these people that you selling and that you um selling lion. Oh, let me get lion ribs or tiger ribs or panther ribs. And niggas going to be looking at you like, what the fuck? No, nah, nigga, we ain't eating. But they'll eat um, pork like it's normal. They, they look as, that, as if it's, it's, it's something normal. Why? Because it's been pushed on us as being normal. Those are not normal animals for us to eat. And we didn't eat stuff like that before we was brought here in slavery. Yeah, here you go, the so-called white man. He he throwing um ears and, 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 and intestines to you and niggas coming up with chitlins and pig feet and shit to cook and, 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 and calling it delicacies. Calling it our roots, calling it soul food. Man, that shit is disgusting. <laughs> There's too many other things out here that you can choose to eat. That was when our our ancestors was kind of like, you know, you know, just was just being treated as animals man so to speak and didn't have really didn't have much you know what i'm saying now you you shit you can you can afford something that's clean why not buy something clean there's people that are, they'll they'll fuss you down oh, i gotta have my shrimp i gotta have my crab my lobsters i gotta have my 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 bucket boil or whatever the fuck they call it my jumbo life man that shit is disgusting i ain't like stuff like that even before i came into the truth it just looked nasty it don't look right <laughs> anyway, with that, man, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Quam Yashola.